Perio. Hello world, I am Necro Wangel and I just wanted to make a quick video to show you the progress that I'm making on the board. It's uh it is it's getting closer and closer to being done with all the noble collection replicas that I'm making. But um I thought I'd give you a close up of the close the newest ones that I've made. Okay, here's the stain. I actually mixed the stain on Victor Crumb's wand. Um, I used golden oak and pickling white and came out with that bone color stain. Let's see. And also I made Gilderoy Lockhart's wand. Lord Voldemort's wand. Very happy that I was able to actually carve this one out. Uh, whenever I began this whole shebang, I thought that there was probably two or three that I couldn't make. Those were Florida de Liqueurs, Lord Voldemort's, and of course Lucius Malfoy's, which I'm still, <laughs> still trying to rack my brain on that one. I don't know if I can carve that detail of a snake's head, but the Lord Voldemort wand has actually come out very, very well. After I get done staining it some more, uh, maybe a couple more coats of the white, I'm going to go back and stain all of the little notches that I'd made with ebony stain. It's still kind of wet there on the side. But the ebony stain will actually look like the, the worn parts on the wand. But I was real happy. Oh, and here is my first attempt at the Slughorn wand. Um, it came out pretty cool, the way it waves like that. It's just, I know that his comes from here down into one wave about here and then back up and curves back around for the tip. So, I'm going to have to redo that one. This one, uh, I'm, I have an idea. I have these marbles. You can see this one right here has a, a bee in it. And this one has a beetle. And I have two projects right now looming. Um, I'm swapping ones with Um Sharpie and with Turbo 318 and Turbo 318 is going to make her own Beetle the Bard uh, book she's going to actually put it in runes so I think that that Beetle will actually go right on the end there and that one is going to be pretty dang cool whenever I'm done with it but I wish that the the camera would actually pick up that that glow it kind of I don't know if you've ever really seen a bee a beetle excuse me in real life but uh, they do have kind of a a sheen to their skin to their well their exoskeleton and there's that bee and the bee will be going on the end of um sharpie's wand See, also, I scrapped the Sirius Black. Actually, I didn't scrap it. I gave it away to a kid named J.T. Cox. He was one of the kids who uh, was in the Hogwarts Satellite School that I was talking about in well, one of my first videos. Uh, he had had one of my wands, but um, over the past year and a half or so, it's gotten moved and moved around. And I work with his dad, so I actually just took him mine and I'm going to make another. As you can see this one right here I started out with a square dowel instead of starting out with a round dowel and just whittled it down. I did the same thing with, with Lockhart's wand starting with the square dowel and working its way down. And I don't know, I think that's about it, but I'm gonna pull back here. As you can see, almost done. 
after I finish this uh, these two projects I'm going to start on the Florida Decor wand and Dolores Umbridge's wand and that's about it for the Noble Collections so what do you think of them so far um, uh, once again I did actually mix the stain to go on Victor Crumb's wand and I don't know the uh, the Voldemort wand needs a little bit more detail put into it but other than that I'm really happy with the way that, that one turned out that's one that I really didn't think that I'd be able to make um, are you done yet? Amy you're not going to get it so anyway and then the slughorn thing uh, I will be making another slughorn one soon um, I've already got the wood picked out and ready to go but anyway as always have a nice life don't limit it to just one day Knox.